Welcome FMS to the wonderful world of CAD. How exciting! What the heck is CAD? I have no idea. Trust me, you're gonna love working with CAD. Everything all around us, everything that's been built in the last 30 years, 40 years, has been built with CAD. Well, Mr. Corbett, that's fantastic, but I still have no idea what CAD is. What is CAD? Tech, tech, tech time with Mr. Corbett. CAD stands for Computer Aided Drawing. It's when you use the computer to draw some stuff. And then that gets used in manufacturing. That's right, CAD has been used in manufacturing over the last 40 years. And manufacturing is the making of things. It could be anything. Let's take a look at some examples of CAD, Computer Aided Drawing. Here we see Tinkercad, which you'll be using soon. Now that you know what CAD is, let's take a brief tour through some of the professions that use CAD. Structural engineers use CAD to see how strong buildings and bridges are. They can test the strength of a material seen here to see how strong it is before they build something out of it. Biomedical engineers develop everything from life-saving ventilators to CAT scan machines to hospital furniture to prosthetics shown here or medical implants such as pacemakers and artificial heart valves. Electrical engineers use CAD to design computer components which are used in everything that has a computer such as your phone, car, refrigerator, TV, and smart device just to name a few. The circuit is designed with wires and components and then it can be manufactured and installed in any of these devices. Aerospace engineering is the building of things that fly through the air or space. Using CAD, an airplane wing can be designed and tested on the computer to see how the air will flow over the wing. Engineers can determine how a plane will react to different variables such as ice, snow, or turbulence without endangering people. CAD is used by NASA to design all components for the International Space Station and space flight. Visual effects artists use computer-generated imagery, or CGI, to create images for movies, video games, television, and simulations. These visual effects artists use a variety of CAD programs to achieve this. Live action scenes with real people are combined with CGI to create these action sequences. Here we see a fight scene on top of an airplane in Spider-Man Homecoming. And you can see the CAD models. Visual effects artists also create models, graphics, and worlds for video games. Here we see Spark from Fortnite and she moves like a real human. In CAD, the artist creates parameters so her body can move and twist just like a real human. Different skins or outfits can be downloaded and applied to the model to make all players unique. Industrial designers develop how all our products look, feel, and interact with us. Even something as simple as a shampoo bottle has to be designed in CAD so it can be manufactured and hold the product inside. I use CAD all the time to build things. Here's a door I designed with CAD and with the click of a button, I have all the measurements so I can build this in my shop. An interior designer would use CAD to lay out spaces inside of a building. They could show the owner of the space different designs so they know what it's going to look like before committing to buying the materials and furniture. Here's my bathroom and when visitors come visit, they will find this huge doorway into a bedroom which leaves little privacy. Here's the door I designed in CAD and I can close that door giving guests their privacy when using the bathroom. This easily rolls on a track that was designed in CAD and it even has real portholes off of a ship. How cool is that? A furniture designer can use CAD to create plans for kitchen cabinets, chairs, tables, or here we have a TV stand. After designing this, I was able to make it in my shop by following the CAD plans and it holds the TV, Wii, DVD player, and stereo. Has anyone seen Frank? Oh, there he is. I was wondering where Frank went. Here I use CAD to design my new deck as my old one was rotting away. I'm able to color code all the different size components so when I go to the lumber store, I know exactly what materials to buy. An architect would use CAD to show clients what the building will look like. Architects use CAD to design buildings ranging from residential homes to malls to huge skyscrapers. And using CAD, I was able to see how my new deck was going to look and make sure the stairs were going to reach the patio before I built it. The final product looks very similar to my original design. What do you think? Besides architects, structural engineers use CAD to ensure a building is strong enough to stand the elements. Here's my design for the shop I built. I drew it in CAD and then gave my plans to a structural engineer. They reviewed the plans and determined the building was strong enough to withstand wind, snow, and other forces. 
Working with my family, I started to construct the building. Here I am laying blocks that will be the foundation. In my CAD drawing, you saw all the studs shown here making up the walls. Then sheathing was added to the walls and the roof rafters installed. The final steps involved putting on the siding and running the electrical inside to power all the lights and the tools. Careers that use CAD often overlap. Let's put together all we have learned about CAD into one big project. As an interior designer, I created a mantle for my fireplace that has a hidden secret. By drawing it in CAD, I'm able to see what the finished product will look like before I make it. I drew it in CAD and then color coded all the different size pieces. This way I knew how many of each piece I would need. When I printed out the CAD drawing, it made it easy to cut all the wood pieces. Here you can see the many parts that I had to make. As a furniture maker, I got to work using the table saw to cut strips of wood. I knew exactly how big to make each piece referencing the CAD drawings as I cut them to length. Before assembling, I sanded all the parts. Remember doing that sanding in sixth grade on the buck saw handles? Ugh. Next, it was on to manufacturing as we glued and screwed the pieces together. Just like you did on your catapult, I drilled a small hole first and then installed the screw. Here we can see it taking shape, which looks just like the CAD drawing. These motors were planned out and wired up just like an electrical engineer would design. I wrote code to control the motors with the TV remote control. This is similar to the coding and programming that you did with Scratch. Press a button, and a tidying computer receives a signal and sends power to the motors that open the doors. Finally, some paint and it's done. When I want to watch a movie, I just press a button and the speakers can be used. When the movie's over, they are hidden away. This project used CAD and skills that engineers use every day. So when I make all my videos, I use this microphone here on top of my camera and I have a mount for it snapped right in. Problem is, it fell over one day and you can see that this thing's broken. Look at that, all right? So what I did was in CAD over here, I redesigned the piece. Let's take a look, we'll zoom in. All right, look at the side here. You can see how thin this piece is? So what I did was I made this one really thick. You see how thick that is? So hopefully if it falls over, it'll be a lot stronger. Okay, so let's print this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom out here and get everything all set up right there. We're gonna press Control P and I'm just gonna grab it. And there it is, whoops, 3D printed piece. All right, look at that. So it snaps right in and now I have a new microphone holder. Totally awesome. All right, oh, I'm just kidding. I 3D printed it. Let's see what this really got printed on. So I'm just kidding, we got these 3D printers and what you do is you draw what you want to make in CAD and then you can put it on the printer and then the printer will print out layer by layer what you make. So that's how I made this piece. It was 3D printed on here. Here's some head pieces. Let's get a transparent sheet. Look at that, now you have a face shield that you can give to a medical worker and that'll help protect them when they're working with people that have uh, the coronavirus. Well, hello students. Thanks for joining me on this wonderful journey learning all about CAD, computer-aided drawings. I hope you realize that it's got a wide variety of applications from structural engineers to architecture to video game design and movies. I want you to head back to the Google Doc and answer a few questions before you start working in CAD yourself. Look forward to seeing what you put down. Peace out. Press Control P and I'm just going to grab it. Whoa, check that out. And it spans a wide variety of fields from structural engineers. I lost my dog.